Hello and welcome back. Uh, here we're going to be doing a video on how to uh, to uh, remove a uh, oil-based gel stain from a fiberglass door here. Um, so this was an oil-based gel stain that was applied to this fiberglass door approximately six to seven year, years ago. And as you can see, um, the sun has just done a, a number uh, on this door. Um, the house gets southern exposure, um, so, it, so it really gets a lot of uh, UV light. Uh, there is a storm door, however, and that will protect it from like the rain and the snow, but it definitely, the storm door can enhance the heat because uh, the heat get, gets trapped in between this and the storm door, so especially in the uh, summertime, the heat makes this so hot here. Um, but as you can see, like around here, around the ovalness here, it is, it's completely gone. Um, and just by touching it, it's starting to uh, flake off here. So again, this is a uh, stained fiberglass door and a uh, oil-based gel stain was used in the past. So. Um, it's not like we're, we're trying to remove a, a latex paint. And again, this is a fiberglass door. So a lot of the, uh, of the, of the uh, removals that you buy at, at, at the store at Home Depot or Lowe's, those are too harsh or too abrasive for the fiberglass doors. The uh, material that you use to strip it can actually eat away because it's a softer mod material. It's not s steel. Um, so it's very soft here, so we can't use a lot of those. So a product that I'm going to be using is this product right here, and it's called Citrus Stri Strip, and it's a paint and varnish stripping gel. Um, and it doesn't have any harsh fumes. It removes dried latex and oil-based paint, and it says that it strips multiple lay layers um, and it has a citrus scent to it so this is the product that we're going to be applying to this um, fiberglass door that again has an oil base stain on it um, so now whenever you try to attempt a project like this uh, we're dealing with a uh, tile floor here. You want to protect the floors here. Um, so a good idea is to put down this stuff right here. It's called X board and it's made by Trimico. Okay. And um, this is, it's, it's nice and thick and it'll protect the floors or the carpets or the wood floors. And um, the, it says right down here that it's easy to work with and lays flat. It's durable and long lasting. It's, it's a liquid repellent. So if you drop water down on, onto it. And lastly, it uh, protects the floor here. And we have some scouring pads here. And these are made by 3M here. Okay. And this has a number two to it here. Um, and one is coarser than like the other one here. So I, I bought them both here. Um, and then we obviously have these gloves here uh, to uh, protect your hands because the um, stripper will affect your skin. And lastly, we bought a three pack of the Anvil. Um, these are plastic potty knives here. We don't wanna use the um, metal ones because the metal, because the uh, metal ones might gouge or scratch or dig into the uh, soft nature of the aluminum doors here. So a, a three pack, the uh, first one is an inch and a half wide. Then we have a three inch and lastly we have a six. So it's just a good idea just to buy a, th a three pack um, so that we can work all parts of the doors so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down the X board here to protect the tile. Um, and then we'll be back to, to start to apply the stripper right here. 
So we'll see you on the next one. Okay, so welcome back here. I obviously have my gloves on for, uh, for uh, protection here. And um, as you can see, I took off the, hard, the uh, hardware here, there, there, and down here. And as you can see, how or what the door had looked like when it was stained, and then the, then the kick plate was on, and the door handle, and up here where the door casing blocks the amount of light that hits a door, you can see that it's darker up at the top, more truer to the color that it was once it was stained here. So you can really see how much this has has faded and worn away the uh, oil-based gel gel stain that was applied approximately six or seven years ago here. So again, we're going to be using this product right here, the Citrus Strip. Um, and this is, this is a safe product to use to strip a aluminum door, um, or a, I'm, I'm sorry, a fiberglass door. And um, so don't use something else that is too abrasive for, for the for the, uh, fi for the fiberglass door. Um, so I have a Corona three inch bra brush right here. And this is a uh, Chinex brush here. And in here I have a four inch microfiber three eighths uh, mi 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 mini roller here. And again, you can get all this stuff at Home Depot or Lowe's. And this is what the bag looks like there. So I'm going to take the stripper here and, and I'll let you see the, uh, the uh, viscosity of this when I pour it in here. Okay, so that's gonna take care of that there. Take my brush and work it back in there. Okay, now you can apply it with, with a, a brush, um, a brush, but I'm gonna use a, a roller too here. So you can see it in there and just get it all over the roller and get it on that, that side right there. So I'll get it on like the end there. And we're going to apply this to the door here. So I'm using the roller here just to spread it to get this on. And you can really get in the grooves here because this roller um, has the nap at the end of, of, of the uh, roller here. So we got a lot on there. And Okay, so we're just going to put it on like a quarter of the way of the door here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put this in there like that, and then I'm going to use the brush here to uh, just go over it. Now you want to go over it, you want to leave a lot, not, I mean, not like that much, or you want to leave on it as uh, much as, as, uh, as uh, possible here, so it really has a time to set up and start to remove the oil-based gel stain that's on this fiberglass door here. And the brush helps get it into the grooves, whereas a roller, it would be harder to like brush it or to work it in with, with the roller here. Takes care of that side there.